our leadership challenge today was to identify or to explain our guiding principles. So our first guiding principle is um, we are learners first and teachers second. It's important for us to be good listeners. Um, allowing others to really express their ideas, their concerns to you, and listening carefully to what they have to say, and understanding at the same time that you don't have to give an immediate response or an answer, um, but you can give, you know, after close thought and consideration, um, ex you know, express to them what you, what you think and come up with a solution together. Our second guiding principle was learning is cognitive dissonance and um, through our program and our social justice focus this becomes apparent and um, it is brought up in our classrooms when we touch on topics that might be a little bit um, taboo to a certain extent. Um, maybe we believe, we had a certain belief our whole lives and I was mentioning this to leadership and all of a sudden we get presented with all this evidence, all these facts that contradict what we believe. And if we're following our first guiding principle of being learners first, we need to put aside our bias and really take in that knowledge and accept it. And furthermore, share it with all our students. Our third guiding principle <laughs> reads, um, embody the type of student that you want your students to be. Critical, communicative, collaborative, and creative students come from critical, communicative, collaborative, and creative teachers. Be the change. Um, as a leadership, we agreed that if we want our students to be a certain way, or if we want them to act a certain way, then we must be the example. We must be the model. We must lead by example. If we demand respect, then we also have to show respect. We may be the only positive example in a student's life. Our energy is contagious and we know that students will feed off of that energy. The example that you lead in your classroom, um, it's not only going to that student, they take that home and then again, it goes into the community. So you are changing more than just um, one perspective on it. I believe that we do all keep in mind that principle of embodying that, um, whether through our discussions and our dialogues here, um, and constantly pushing ourselves to get better as, as a program um, and really dealing, having those, those, those tough conversations as Mark said, um, really have, helping us as a program and as individuals, as individuals to become better and to really promote that change that we want to see.